culture that sees women, that believes truly that women are subservient to men and therefore subservient to their wishes, and number two, systems that don't work. So, you know, we obviously have laws against rape. We have cops, we have courts, we have everything that we need to ensure that our citizens see? are safe, but they don't work. So a woman, woman will go into a police station, she will try and report a case of sexual harassment or rape, and often uh, she feels humiliated, she feels that the cops are blaming her for what has happened, and the cops on more than one occasion have uh, basically told the woman that, you know, she doesn't have a case for rape because she has brought it upon herself or because it was consensual. Uh, we have courts that exist, obviously, but that take so long to deal with rape cases that by the end of it, uh, evidence has been sullied, uh, you know, the the, uh, the the rapists have disappeared and the women have been forced to withdraw their charges. In such circumstances, women have no um, no reason really to to report a crime. And as we know from Delhi about... You have mentioned before, excuse me, that, that one of the things that happens too is that because a, a woman uh, is, is considered um, it, not valuable after she is raped, that the, she's actually encouraged to marry the rapist at, at certain times. Is that correct? Yes, that certainly happens. I mean, it's happened uh, within families. It's something that judges have encouraged uh, women in the court to do. Uh, it takes into uh, accountability the fact that, you know, we are a society which places so much weight on honor that we don't really care about the humanity of our people, not even a victim of a crime as heinous as rape. What do you think about what's happening in, in India now? The fact that you have so many people who are out there, they are protesting. We've seen it's young men, it's young women, that people are actually standing up and speaking out on this. It is an extraordinary moment uh, in our history. It's something that we need to hold on to, that we need to convert into change. But you know, as an Indian woman, uh, somebody who's grown up there and has experienced this, um, it, it, I feel like this is our time to make very specific changes to how the law looks at rape, how people look at rape, and also for us to look at one another and to say, well, you know what, we are also to blame. We don't report rape. We don't support victims of rape. So we, this is a moment of introspection for each one of us and very specific and quick change. Sonia Filero, thank you so much. We really appreciate your speaking out and, of course, uh, the op-ed, which is very insightful. Thanks again.